What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to um, how you can manually register your scans together with Register360. Um, sometimes after you you attempt to auto register your scans together, um, Register360 won't be able to put everything together. Uh, it'll just create little bundles of, of scans that it could um, piece together and then uh, it's up to you to manually register together these these bundles. So let's go ahead and open up Register360. We're going to create a new project. And again, I have those same five scans, uh, the BLK files here. I'm going to drop them in here. And in this case, I'm going to turn off AutoCloud. So Register360 is not going to take the time to try to stitch these together at all. Normally I would go ahead and run AutoCloud um, so that Register360 can do most of the work for me. And then I'll, it's just left up to me to piece together the last few pieces. Um, for this demonstration I'm just going to leave it unchecked so I can show you how, I can show you the tools that you can use to manually put these scans together. So I'm going to go ahead and import these scans. All right, so it, now that it's imported, you can see it brought all five of the scans um, and just dropped them randomly in space. So we can zoom in here. And what we can start to do is, is um, drag and drop them in the, in the relative spot that they need to be. So if I want to start with this one in the middle, um, you can click and drag these around your screen. If you want to rotate them, hold shift and click on the, the scan. That'll let you let you rotate and square these up. So I know that these two um, link together. So I can square these up. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, you'll notice when I bring them close to each other, um, you'll see it, it, it figures out this little ghost link right here. So to, to register these together, what you can do is click on that link. And then down at the bottom over here uh, will pop up some registration options. So um, the tool I'm going to show you today is, is called Visual Registration. So that's this button right here. And when you click on that, it'll bring both these scans in um, and, and bring one in as orange and the other as blue. So what you can do is you can click and move the one and um, basically line them up as best you can. So what I usually do is I zoom in on a corner like this and I line up the corner. Then you can zoom out and you can see that it, it needs to be rotated. So uh, you can choose your rotation tool up here. And then wherever you click will be the rotation point. So you have to make sure to click right on that corner. And then the, the farther out you pull away from that point, um, the easier it is to kind of control how fast you're, you're spinning this scan around. So you can spin it in and rotate it. And drop it when it looks pretty good. Um, the next, next step would be to check the Z axis. So you can click this button down here. Um, these scans were scanned on the, the exact same level, so the Z axis already looks pretty good. Uh, if, you were, if you were scanning outdoors or you were scanning up and down stairs, uh, you, might, you might see that you might need to fix this uh, the Z axis. If you want to fix the Z axis, you'll see one scan up and down. Um, so we want to just match up these lines here. Like that. And nothing in this has to be perfect. Uh, you're just getting it close enough for the computer to take over and create a best best fit between these two clouds. So once once it looks good, you can go ahead and, and um, click this Join and Optimize button. And, and this will um, 
like I said, create this best fit between the two clouds. And it gives you a couple different error statistics and it gives you this, this histogram graph. Um, you just want to make sure the majority of your points are, are to the left, the left hand side. That means the uh, majority of your points are um, accurately matching the, the other scan. So uh, if I click OK, you can see that this link was added successfully and it, it's now created a, a bundle. So now you can see these two scans are, are locked together. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and do another scan here. This is in the bathroom. So again, when I bring it close, you'll see that it, it creates this ghost link. I'm going to go into this again. And I can zoom in. Check the z-axis, already looks pretty good. And optimize that. All right, so now you can see that all three are have been successfully registered. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and, and register together the, the other two. As you start moving through your your registration, um, based on previous links, uh, Register 360 can um, figure out the, the spatial relationship between the scan, and it can see when there might be a potential link candidate. So you can see when I when I created this link, it found two additional link candidates. So you can you can go ahead and have it try to register those together. So. Let's see if it can. And it was able to create two additional links to the additional to the one that I created. So we'll see here. Um, I created this link right here, and it was able to fit scan data together between these two scans and these two scans. So um, I got two extra links that I didn't have to do. Um, the last scan here I can bring in. Once that finishes up, um, you can see that, that all of all of my scans are locked together. Um, all of the links look good. I can go into my bundle cloud.
registration looks good to me. So I can go ahead and finalize it. Uh, I can choose the, the image for my report here. I think this looks good. Might want to make it even more square. And then if I accept the results, I can go ahead and fill up my report. And that's it. At this point, you could create this report and publish your point cloud. So I hope that gives you a good idea of how easy it is to put these scans together manually if you ever need to. Uh, if you have any questions about this stuff, please feel free to give, shoot me an email or, or leave the questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.